All right, 9-6 homework, even problems. We have to figure out the number of ways a computer can randomly generate one or more integers from the numbers 1 through 12, and we want just the integers that are divisible by 3. So we're just looking for all of the div uh, integers from 1 to 12 that are divisible by 3. 3, 6, 9, and 12. There's four of those, so there's four ways. That's all there is to it on the first one. Jump to 18. Eight people board this. And so two of these people have tickets for first class, and then the rest of them have tickets for economy class. So we need to figure out how many ways can the eight people board the aircraft. All right, so there's eight spots. Five, six, seven, eight. The first two spots are first class tickets only. So we have to ask ourselves, how many people have first class tickets? There are two. So there's two people that can get on in that first spot. After that, there's only one person left who has a first class ticket. After the first class people get on, then the regular old people get on, and there's six of those, and then five, four, three, two, one. And so we're gonna multiply all of those things together, and we're gonna get 1440. Just to be clear here, this is two factorial, and this is six factorial. So there's two ways for the first class and six ways for the economy class. All right, moving on to 24. How many four-digit numbers can be formed under each condition? So the leading digit cannot be zero. So four spots. If the leading digit can't be zero, then there's nine options for the first spot and then 10 for each of the following. So for part A here, that's gonna be nine with three zeros, 9,000. All right, the leading digit cannot be zero and no repetition is allowed, so it can't be zero. And then here, let's think about what comes next. So we have zero plus nine more options, so 10 options, but one of them's already been picked here in the first spot. So there's just gonna be nine more options here, and then eight, and then seven. So on that one, 24, nine times, nine times eight times seven, we get 45, 36. All right, the leading digit cannot be zero, and the number must be less than 5,000, so. That means we can only have a four or less in this first spot, four, three, two, or one, right? So that's only four numbers here. And then do we allow repetition? Yes, we do. So it'd be uh, 10 options for each of the remaining three digits. So that's gonna be 4,000. All right, the leading digit cannot be zero and the number must be even. All right, so how many numbers leading, if we go back up to the first spot here, 9,000, right? That's how many options you have for the leading digit cannot be zero, and then if it's got to be even, we're just going to cut that in half to get 4,500. Uh, half are even, half are odd. Let's move on to 30, 5P5. So we've got five factorial on top. On the bottom, we do subtraction. And since this is P, that's all we're gonna write. So five factorial over, uh, sorry, five minus five factorial here, which is a zero, which is the same as just five factorial because zero factorial equals one. So what do we have here? Five times four is 20, times three is 60, times two is 120, times one stays the same, so that's our answer. All right, let's try 100 P5. We're gonna have 100 factorial over, we're gonna subtract them, which is 95 factorial. So we're going to have 100 times 99 times 98 times 97 times 96. And then we would be done so because they're going to cancel once we hit the 95. So the answer there is 9 billion.
34 million. Forty two, there are four processes involved in assembling a product, and these processes can be performed in any order. So we're talking permutations or combinations. Combinations is what we're looking for. Order doesn't matter. The management wants to test each order to determine which is the least time consuming. How many different orders will have to be tested. So on this one, there are four that we're going to start with. And so this one, uh, really, let's look at it this way actually. There's four things that we put in the first spot, and then three for the next spot, two for the next spot, and just one for the last spot. And so this is going to be four factorial in this case. We're not going to use the combinations actually because we're using all four of them. Combinations we would use if we were only picking like three out of the four processes to use. So four factorial here, so 12 times two and we get 24. All right, 44, uh, we're doing every third. So 45 would be our next one and then 48. Write all the permutations of the letters A, B, C, and D if the letters B and C must remain between the letters A and D. So let's think about our four spots here. All right, so for our first spot, we can only have A uh, or D. Okay, and so for our last spot, so that's two options which means our last spot would just be a 1. And then in between them, we're also going to have either a B or a C. So that's two options. And then there's only one way left to write B or C once you pick them. So multiply all these things together, and there are four options. All right. It does say write all of them down, so we want to get all the options. So let's start with this, A, B, C, D. We could do that. We could switch the inside, A, C, B, D. And then we could go D, D, B, C, A. And then keep the D and the A, and switch the C and the B on the inside. So those are our four options. Let's look at 54, and we'll do 5, C, 1 equals 5 on top. We'll subtract 5 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial, which is going to be 5 factorial over 4 factorial. 1 factorial, which is 5 over 1. The 4s are all going to cancel, and we're left with just 5. And jumping to 60, let's do 50C6. And so we'll have 50 factorial. We're going to subtract first 44 factorial and then 6 factorial. So uh, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, and 45 over 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. On there. And let's see if we can cancel anything. 4 times 3 is 12. Let's see, 5 times 4 is 20, times 2 is 40, how about this, 6 times 4 times 2 is 48, we could do that, 5 times 3 is 15, so that could go to a 3, so still a bunch of big numbers we're going to have to multiply, so when we multiply them all the way out, we get 15,890,000, Seven hundred. All right, last one to look at. Sixty-six. In the Louisiana Lotto game, a player chooses six distinct numbers from one to forty. In how many ways can a player select the six numbers? So on this one, first question: Does the order of the numbers matter? No, it doesn't. You just need to match them. How many numbers are we picking from? We're picking from forty, and we're picking six of them. So this is a 40C6 problem. 
40 over 34 factorial 6 factorial 40 39 38 37 36 35 over 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and let's see here 3 times 2 is 6 goes into 36 evenly and 5 times 4 is 20 now we cut that down to a 2 and anything going evenly 9, 6 and 6 can cancel, there we go so we multiply the rest of the remaining numbers out and for 66 the correct answer is going to be 3,838,000 Yes.